What is going on everybody today? I have got three books every typographer. Typographer? What am I doing right now? Today I have three books that every typographer should have and they kind of get more granular as we start. So let's dive into the three books every typographer should have. I said it right that time. So first up is going to be Type Matters by Jim Williams. And this is a beautifully laid out book about the importance of type. Simple tips for everyday typography. And I kind of get into this discussions that are somewhat meaningless with some of my friends who don't really care about type as much as I do. And I think a lot of people should care a lot more about it because type is the clothes that your words wear. Like you don't just go out with no clothes on. <laughs> I hope you don't. But the same kind of rules apply to type. Like it needs to be attractive. Like whatever we're talking about put thought into the typography. So this is really going to break down some history for you and show you some different spacing, some different uh, differences between serif versus sans serif versus slab serif. This is one of my favorite parts, like defining the ink trap and like what that was for. Just like a fantastic laid out resource that is super easy to understand. This is definitely the entry level type book that I would recommend if I teach a class and I hope to God that I teach a class on design one day because this will be the number one textbook I will recommend. Well, not recommend it. I will make sure my students have that book. The second book up is called Thinking with Type. And this is the second edition book. I'm not sure if they've got another one after this one. Uh, there's several authors involved. The main one is Ellen Lipton. It is a design style handbook. So it's a little bit more involved because it's going to give you examples, live examples of different uh, type uses and things like that. Print design or digital design and as well as give you a very in-depth history into the creators of some of these typefaces. A lot of people like to use the word font. This is really going to go into more depth uh, and discussion on how these typefaces were made and you know how to mix them, line spacing, alignment, kerning, hierarchy. It's going to give you layout examples and, and all of this kind of stuff. You definitely need this one. Start with type matters, work yourself up to thinking with type. The last one up is called Typographic Design. This is a beefy book. Is this in the way? I have this other arm for stuff and it's it's been in the frame this entire time. Get out of here. Okay, I think we're good. Typographic Design by a lot of different art, art, uh, artists. What is wrong with me? A lot of different authors have written this book, design textbook. Like this thing is beefy. But one of the reasons I really love this book is because of the inspiration that you can grab. They're laid out in like categories. So for example, just open to chapter eight, typography in time and motion, I think is what that one says, right? Yeah, in time and motion. It's gonna give you a little brief introduction to that um, chapter and then it's going to give you examples and very heavily dense written explanation of those examples. So this is not your beginner level typography book. I've not even made it all the way through it. I typically will go to the table of contents, camp out in somewhere where it's given me the breakdown and examples of uh, how the types were made and designed. It's a great resource to have if you're going to go full on into typography and design. Highly recommend it, but probably not for entry level designers. I would wait. This is an also an expensive book, so wait to get your hands on that. I would definitely recommend these to these two books for sure. But yeah, so that's three books every typographer sh should have. I know I didn't really go super in depth about what's in it. I definitely can if the desire for that is there. Everybody should definitely have this one. I mean, come on. This is like such an interesting read. It's so beautifully laid out. You could read this in an afternoon. Like it's really not that much. Also not expensive too. I will link all three of these down in the description for you to check out and let me know what you think. If you pick them up and read them, like let me know which one you think is best. Definitely let me know what you think of the Jim Williams Type Matters one. I've referred it to a lot of friends. They've picked it up. If you like this video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. We are doing our best to glorify the Lord with good design. We want to teach other Christian creatives good design and help out in any way we can. It is a space that needs more attention to design because we want to express how much we care about the content, right? So if we're talking about the gospel, we need to make sure that we're packaging it in a way that people know we care about it. And so stop stuff like this, typography, lettering, calligraphy, website design, all of it, like it all matters, y'all. It all matters. And so today's topic was typography. I hope that you found it at least a little bit influential. You saw my excitement for it. Let's have the discussion together. When you pick it up, links are in the description and I'll see you 
I hope in the next video or the previous video. All right, it's enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it now. Okay. All right.